Welcome everyone, today we have a new guide for Hankai Star Rail. And in this video, we have a lot of notes about getting additional chests and also getting additional jade. So over here you can see the summary, we can get close to 600 free jade and also 580 total experience for the trial blazers. And over here I have provided a lot of notes and also a lot of the information and also diagrams to show you the locations of those treasures and also of those puzzles. And over here, I also provided a detailed summary of the puzzle pathway and also walkthrough for all the new puzzles that is available. So this will show you guys where to find the puzzles and also how to solve them. And at the end, we also have a look at what you get additionally as to the achievements and also with the purchase of the reputation points you get from the puzzles. Now coming over to our notes, I'm sure you guys have noticed we have a website. Yes, I've been working on a website with my girlfriend and we have finally made a website. It took us a while and the website is going to be in the format of my notes. And and this website should be helpful for you guys to see things more clearly, to go into the images and also to look at all the things that is available in the video. I'll have the link of the website available to you guys and it will be in the description. Make sure to come over to the website to see additional information and also video guides and also written guides for each of the games we play. So what is happening with this guide is that there are additional chests that can be found in the game and those chests are related to the hex gum puzzles. So if we come over here, you can see that I have been solving a lot of those hex amethyst puzzles. And if we come over to the game, what I want to show you guys is the first thing you want to have a look is how many of those puzzles have you solved? If you have solved 15, then they will reset for you to find another 15 of the puzzles. So it's quite important to solve the first 15 and then get 15 more puzzles. And by doing so, you get more achievement and also more loots. Now over here I have counted, we get 29 times of the chest loots with a total solving. So the first 15 chests and then the 14 chests, we get a bunch of loots. And this is actually quite good. So you can see all the rewards from the first 15 chests and then from the next 15 chests. Now because the tutorial chest on the second go didn't give any loots, we actually took that out. And also we'll be getting more reputation points for the third shop, which will provide us 50 to 100 standard jade or maybe a free summoning ticket. So it really depends what stage you are at the moment and you get tons of free loot doing those puzzles. So here I just show you guys over here and what you can see is, you can see that I have purchased a lot of items because I was able to get more. So I just got my free summoning ticket and I'm about to get the last item very soon. Now I mentioned earlier, in order to check how many of the hex gun puzzles you have solved, so it is quite important to come over to the memory which I share and check if you have completed the first 15 hex gun puzzles. And once you have completed those, you have to talk to a certain NPC at a specific location to reset those. So in case, I think most cases, there are few scenarios. The first case is that you guys haven't completed all 15. So I have provided maps over here that you can see on each of the maps where is the location of the puzzles. There's only going to be four over here. And over here, you can see there are three over here. After that, there will be three on the first layer and also two, one on the second layer. And over here, you can see there will be four locations of the puzzles. So together, we're looking at 15 locations of the puzzles. And once you have finished all of them, they will reappear on your map again. And it makes it so much easier on the second go. And in this video, this will be a video on the second go, where the puzzles are a little harder. And you can use this one for the first go as well, for the location to find each of the puzzles. And I have the entire video available for you guys at the end of the video. So the best way of using this video guide and also the written guide is that use those mini maps to find all the 15 first puzzles. And once you have found them, what you're going to see is, I'll show you guys over here. What you're going to see is you're going to get a message from the Hex Club. And once you get a message, you're going to travel to the NPC. And by talking to the NPC, he will show you a new tutorial form of puzzle. The puzzle will have you matching both of the size and also a special icon. And this will be a more difficult puzzle. So once you have done that, he will reset all the puzzles that is on your map. And this is actually wonderful. So some of you might have missed this one. Some of you might have missed the first 15. You have to do the first 15 puzzles to get the second hidden quest for the next 15 puzzles. So this is why it's quite important to see the first 15 puzzles and then follow through a guide for the second 15 puzzles. And the rest is pretty straightforward. In this video, I'll show you guys the puzzle solving for all the new 15 puzzles. They are slightly harder, but they're very straightforward and they give you a bunch of loots. So here you guys can see that solving each of the puzzles provided me with 20 Trailblazer experience, 20 Stellar Jade, and also 10 of the Stray, which is the reputation items, which will be very useful to be buying items in the shops over there. And also I have gotten three achievements. So let me claim those over here. So now will be 15 more Jade, right? Do we get everything? Yep, we got everything. 
Now, because this guide is going to be quite straightforward once you use the maps and also locations to find all the puzzles, the biggest part, guys, is to find all 15 puzzles. The second reset of the puzzles and also new chairs will not come unless you do the first 15. So it is very important for you to come over to the side, yes, come to the new website, <laughs> and to use the website and also images to find all the puzzles over here. And then if you still have a trouble finding the puzzles, you can use this pathway because on the second go, I'm still running to all the puzzles. So if you have difficulty getting access to the puzzles, you can use the second part of the replay to see how to get to the puzzles and how to solve the second particular puzzles. Because the first time I was solving them, I actually didn't make a recording. This is the second time I'm solving them and they are a little harder than the first time. Now over here, we'll have an entire replay of me solving puzzles. So this is the entire replay of me traveling to different regions and solving puzzles. And you can skip through, I'll have the timestamps for you guys for each of the locations. And finally, you get to see the achievements we made, and also what items I can purchase from the shop. And basically, you got tons of freebies. So before we finish, let me know what you guys think about the new website as well, because we are starting a website and we don't have much experience. If you guys have any tips and also advices, let us know as well. And what do you think about the layout? What do you think Think about using capital letters. So I do have a habit using all the capital letters because I think it stands out for the videos. But this can be a little difficult to read as a website and also as an article. Let me know what you guys think and if you have any tips or advice for website making or anything related to that, let us know in the comments below as well. Thank you guys and hopefully you enjoy the replay and find all those chests and get a ton of freebies.
figured it out. Interesting. Interesting. Well figured out. Interesting.
well figured out. Well figured out. Well figured out. Interesting.
well figured out. Interesting. Interesting. Now before you go, and if you guys didn't know, we have a new YouTube channel. And if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and check out the behind the scenes and also fun clips and also more stories about us. And then you get to know me a little more personally instead of just reading the news and also the games, right? So I want to share a little bit more with you guys. So make sure you check this channel out if you're interested about Matt and also Uni. She's really funny too, and she's really shy. So I want to give her a surprise and do a shout out for the new channel to get some subscribers. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time.